I'm gonna show you guys how I do it with one weft first, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do it with two on one clip. Okay, so here are my clips, and my clips are super old. I don't care, like I've been having them forever. That's what you really want. You want something that's gonna last for a long time, so you don't keep buying the same thing over and over. Plus, I'm, I'm the kind of person, like, one day I want clip-ins, the next day I want to weave. So, I would take the clip, the clip-ins off of the tracks and then use them, use it as weave or whatever, like, as a, for a sew-in. So, if you're only going to do one weft, you would just sew on these two holes. If you're doing uh, two wefts, like I'm going to do with my other ones, you would sew on the second holes two as well. You'll do the first ones and the second ones. And I'm showing you guys the technique I use to do that. So for the first, if you're going to do only one weft, you have thinner hair. Sew that in and then you'll sew this one in. Now if you have really tight wefts, like here, dude, it'll be really hard. Okay, so make sure your needle is skinny towards the end. Because if it's not skinny towards the end, it's not going to go through these holes. So let me show you guys the example. So you see this hole? This fits through the hole. Let me show you one that I have that don't fit through the hole. So here's a needle I have that's pretty fat. See that? Especially compared to this one. It's pretty fat so this will not fit through the hole so if I try to put it through here it gets stuck you see that it gets stuck it won't go through or if you don't have um, a curved needle you can always just use straight I have a straight needle as well It'll go straight through. See? So my suggestion is to uh, just have a couple of these that, that do go through already threaded. Oops. Already threaded. Oh. First. And then I put it through the weft. It's best to have a sharp needle because if not, then... So once it get through there, I once it goes through there, then I um, the string that's hanging down at the bottom, the one that already went through, that haven't went through yet, I will just put the needle through the, that through that loop and then tighten it. So that's done. You don't have to do it twice. And then I'll go to the next side, which is here. It doesn't matter if you go this way or that way. Let's just go this way. And I'll put it through the weft and the hole. And then I will wrap it around the whole loop. And then tighten it. And then I will make a loop. there make a loop and <laughs> I'm making this look so hard it's not hard at all you guys know how to make a loop to close a knot to close a knot so and then I make a loop there and then that's how I do my hey bruh And so you have this one already tied down and this hole tied down. You just cut the string and you're done. So usually for the end pieces, you only need one clip. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing two clips here because this is a long weft. So that's how you would do it if you had one um if you're only gonna do one weft on it. So let me show you guys how I'll do it with two, two wefts. 
So as you guys can see, now I have the two wafts here, okay? So what I do is I will get a clip and make sure the make sure you are uh, sewing on the back, the outside of it, not the inside, because the inside is where you're gonna be, because the inside is where you're gonna be uh, clipping it to your hair. Make sure you are sewing on the back side. So I will sew this piece down first. Then I will get the other weft and then sew it this the that weft up here. Then I'll go across the top, sew right here of that weft, and then on this weft I would finish off by sewing it down here. And this weft is the first one that we use, like on our hair, we put on our hair, so it only needs two clips. The first two, number one and number two, only needs two clips. Number three and number four needs three clips. And number um, five and six only need one clip, usually. This is how you do with the double weft. Uh, double weft. With um, two tracks. I'm going to say two tracks. So I'm going to say track one and track two. And then uh, hole, hole one and hole two. So with track one... And hole one. So we have this hole here. We put it through the hole, and once you put it through the hole, make sure you're putting it through the. Make sure you're putting it through the weft as well. And when you pull pull it all the way through up until you get to the last part and then you see these dub this double hole here put the needle through there and then tighten it. you can always cut off these little strings here if you if you uh, if you need to I don't because you can't see it then you'll go to weft 2 and hole two, which is back here. So there's weft two and hole two. And then you will go I'll go behind the weft and then through the hole. Make sure you do a loop. So make this string go um, around the needle and then pull. Then I will go across here, go into this hole and this and this thread, I mean this weft and then tighten it. Make sure you always make a loop. And then the last one will be the top here. Go through the weft and through the hole. Make a loop over the string and pull. And then at the end, always make a loop to close it off. Now remember, it doesn't matter where you start. If you start here, and then go across, then down and across, or if you start, um, if you start from the bottom to the top, across and then to the bottom. It doesn't matter which way you start. It's gonna be really secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. So that's how I make. That's how you make clip-ins. Like I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it. It's perfect. Uh, it never comes off until I want it to come off. Until I cut them off. The clip-ins number three and four. They require. They require three clips. So that's one, two, and then I'm gonna put one more here. They require three clips. 
and then the one with two F's. I need the one with uh, that's the number one, number two. <laughs> Um, tracks number one and two only need two clips because they're not that long. The main thing is you don't want anything sagging or anything like that. Like you don't want it to be like drooping down in the middle. This won't droop down because it's just, you know, it's just this. This here, if you were to only put two, you'll be having to put it really tight, you know, like to make sure it stays up if you didn't have a clip in the middle here you'll be having to make sure it stays really tight and all this other stuff because you have to make sure it stays really tight and then not end up pulling out your hair and stuff so just make sure you have if you just want to hear it's, it's going to also use like what four clips but i wouldn't do it so yeah that's how i make clips make sure you guys stay tuned um for my next video because my next hair video will be how i install and style my clip-ins so make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you guys have any suggestions. <music>